Hey, we can laugh now. So many of us have been there. Mary Dobson joins us live in studio now to talk a little bit more about laundry. So some of the audience members are like, I love laundry! <laughs> but most of the students going off to university are thinking, not so much. Not so much. So let's make it easy for them. And it really is a reality. And you know, chances are the sheets aren't gonna get washed that often, but as a strategy <laughs> for that, you wanna think about, again, as we said in the tape, sorting things that will not hurt each other. Right. So whether you're doing all your colors together, you're doing all your dark jeans together, you're doing all your towels, it's not really that simple because although I have all just tops that are colors in here, yeah. I know this pink top will run forever. So I can't put it in with something that has a little bit of white in it. It's like the pink underwear thing that you always yeah. see. The black blouses, again, that blouse will run. So maybe I want to put it with jeans, but then again, am I going to do a silk blouse on a dental cycle rather than the mm. jeans on it? So it it isn't totally that sort of straightforward. Right. One thing to worry about when you first get clothes is to just wash them to see what happens with the dye. Okay. And one trick with jeans in particular is you put salt in the washer with the water and it's supposed to help set the dye. But I don't know anybody in residence who has a oh. box of salt just hanging around. Right. So again, you have to sort of proceed with caution. What about putting these inside out? I always turn them inside out because the Dying. dye just stays a little bit longer. You don't get those sort of rub marks from yeah. in the dryer and all the rest of it. Okay. If you're doing sheets, I would caution don't do sheets and towels together. Because, really? Well, because you will always find yeah. There's one wet towel there in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Come on. That's in true. the corner of every time. Always. It's like, why are these things dry? Because there's a soaking wet towel in there. So you want to be a little judicious judicious yeah. with not putting too many sheets in. Other things, the new machines will really let you load up. Again, with towels, I'm not going to wash these purple ones when they're brand new with the white ones. Later on, I can certainly do that. And how do you know? You just you just sort of have to feel it you out. Have I've to done try. like three or yeah. four washes, and you feel like if they've gotten to that phase where they're not Maybe running anymore. Maybe mom can do it before you go away and yeah. sort of take that out. edge out of it. Okay. Yeah. You want right. to make sure you have a good laundry bag. <laughs> now, Ooh, God, that's a nice. A one. lot of people. This is what they're going <laughs> to have, right? It's light. It's portable. It's easy. Thank you to IKEA for the bag, but also for our fabulous set here today. Uh, something that I just learned from Dustin is that a lot of laundromats now require you actually put your clothes in a mesh bag and leave it in there through the washing process. So it keeps really? everything, you'll never lose a sock because they're true. all in the bag. But I think too, things like grommets and rivets and things like that which can bang their machine, it kind of oh, protects it a bit. Very interesting. If you've got delicates, you can buy little bags yes. like this for yours. But even yeah. just to keep your de come on. Is that yours? Yeah. It says la that's lingerini. Your la that's your little lingerie Yeah, there you bag. go. Woohoo! Uh, but anything she delicate. She even put a little cute frilly panty on it. I didn't make it. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I'm not but, yeah. judging. I think it's cute. <laughs> I think it's adorable. Uh, but keep all your delicates separate so that, again, you don't find out that you washed your really nice bra in with the black blouse where yes. the color all ran and that kind of thing. If you're going to be doing stains, oh, we're going to have stains, right? Everyone has stains Absolutely. on their clothes. A couple of things. I don't go anywhere without my tie to go stick. Mm -hmm. I'm very popular with our friends when we go out for dinner because their husbands always seem to... And I'm like, just a minute, I have my tie to go stick. That white shirt. And it does work. Uh, be careful with things like the pre-treats that you don't do them too soon. Read the label. Some of these you can put on in advance, but some you want to put on just before it goes into the wash. Okay. It does a great job, though. I rarely, rarely ruin anything. I can usually catch it and get the stains out of it. I don't doubt that at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Drying stuff. You being the pro you well, are. Well, you know, we all have our moments. Save your quarters. <laughs> Covet your quarters. If you're hanging stuff to dry, most of us in university or college had a drying rack in our room that never got put away. Those yeah. are really great. But if you're hanging up, sometimes you put things on hangers and you've got to be careful that if the sleeves are heavy and wet, it doesn't really hurt your, your uh, shoulders. So one of my tricks, I'll just take this down, is if I'm hanging a sweater to dry, I actually take the sleeves mm -hmm. and put it up over and that kind of reduces the weight. Okay. No wire hang heard that a thousand times the plastic ones but even better are these flannelly felt ones they really are very kind to your clothes. Yeah you're not gonna have room to flat dry in your dorm so probably you're, not you're, you're probably no. not you're gonna be hanging stuff up good stuff Mary thanks for the